Okay, I'm going to interview Allie, who is my working student. So, I feed Buckeye, but now you feed Buckeye, correct? We have everything from babies to older horses. I need a feed that I can feed to everything in varying amounts and still get the same effects as far as proper weight gain, muscle gain, keeping a good top line, having a good quality coat, and the Buckeye and the Pins Ultra seems to give all that in one feed. After seeing the results of Elisa's horses on the Buckeye and comparison to other feeds that she's fed, it's been the easiest switch over. The horses do always do well on it. You can feed it to anything without there being much of an issue. It's very palatable and her horses look great on it. What is this? Open that. Yeah. I get my own flip pack now. Well, yes, you do. So Heels Down had us do a um, and Eco Gold had us do a thing for people who deserve a pad. And since you've been a long time working student, you got one. So, Thank you so much. It's supposed to make you cry, but you're not crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's to show our appreciation for all that you do. Thank you so much. Yeah. Brightwater, aka Teddy. Uh, I've had him for I think since September and he came in as a bit of a troubled horse and um, so this was his first horse show and as you can see I was working on getting him to stretch in this busy atmosphere just working on getting him to relax and then I headed into the ring and I was actually very pleased with how he behaved I was doing be the beginner novice test and this ring actually is a little tough for the young horses because what you can't see is right next to it is the show jump ring and so there is a fair amount of people there and clapping and um, so it can be hard sometimes for the uh, inexperienced horses in containing their mental capacity sometimes. Um, so, but he did pretty well. We still are working on getting him to connect to the bridle. He tends to get a little stuck in, um, really tight in his neck. So if you see like he drops his head down, I'm actually encouraging to want to reach down and out. Um, he got a little stressed here in his walk. So you see, I'm just patting him and, um, he just thought he was supposed to trot during our walk, but it's not really a big deal. I've just got to work on getting him to relax a little bit more so he understands that it's just walking and and to get him to reach down and out, which will help his back. And that's overall been the biggest issue with the horse was that he was too tight in his back and that was also had to treat him for ulcers. So that has helped him tremendously. Um, in his behavior um, and so there's been a huge improvement in his listening and his rideability and then we go into the second canter he, again he gets a little distracted and tight and nervous so it's not a big deal he picked up the canter um, and those will get better and better once he understands the job um, and he was actually quite good for the down transitions. Overall, I was really pleased. He stayed in the arena. Um, no huge spooks. And was pretty obedient for the most part. So the homework is getting him to stretch down and low and to relax. But overall, I was really happy. Teddy did a good job. And then I did Indiana Chrome, which is Indy, and he was doing the novice test, and I was super thrilled with how he was this weekend. He really improved from the past um, schooling show that he did, and um, felt really good in the dressage ring, um, finally getting him to reach for the contact, kind of, he was similar to the Brightwater or the Teddy Horse. Um, where he was really tight in his neck, but now you can see he's starting to reach down into my hand kind of contact. Still has a little bit of twist, like he tweaks his head a little bit. 
but overall the picture is getting much better and the rideability as well. So the judge was very impressed with him. Um, he scored a lot of sevens. He actually scored a 30 in um, this novice test. So it was a fairly decent score. And she said, the, you know, the next thing, once I get the rhythm and the contact, and then we want to build up on the impulsion and then his marks will go even um, higher. So he's getting there. I was really, really, really pleased with this horse. He's come a long way. And um, I actually enjoyed um, doing this dressage test. He just gave me a great feeling. And the biggest things I was working on were getting him to go into the corners, which the past couple of tests that I've done, he would kind of move into my leg and against it instead of moving away. So that was a big improvement. And then as well as his straightness. So um, from the last test, he was really quite wiggly in his walk. But here he was actually willing to reach down and... <laughs> This was his one mental lapse. He saw the photographer, and so he was not quite sure what that individual was doing over there. But then he put his head down, and when I told him to just ignore it, he ignored it, and that was really big for him. And um, he learned to kind of put that behind him and to go to work. So he is learning how to be um, a good team partner. And then here we go into the canter transitions, which he picked up the correct lead. So again, his tension is not there. So when the tension is gone and you have their mind, the uh, transitions become pretty easy. And he's always had a great down transition. You just use your seat and kind of close your knee a little bit and he could drop right back down into the trot. And um, he was still not quite sure why that photographer was there. But again, he listened to me. We didn't have to slam on the brakes and I didn't have to do any big moves. Uh, I was able to put my leg here to really wrap him around that corner. I was practicing him bending. Still needs a little bit of work to smooth that out. And uh, coming into the next canter transition, which... In every test that he's done, he has blown the right lead, which he gets tense and then would pick up the left lead. And then, voila, he actually picked up the correct lead. Um, so it really was a nice feeling to finally feel like I'm getting somewhere. And uh, his canter is coming through. He's listening. You see his ears flickering back and forth. So he was very much on point um, in working. In sitting the trot and being able to turn down the center line, working on getting him straight, and then just ask for the halt. And he was so nice and soft. It was really a nice, nice test to ride. Next was Emmett. He competed in the beginner novice, and unfortunately, I didn't get his dressage test on film, but he did super. He scored a 30, and as you can see, he's improved tremendously. He's kind of figuring out the uh, game, so to speak. <laughs> he has such a cute expression. Uh, he really was fun to ride. He's such an honest boy, and um really was proud of how he handled himself. So he's figuring out his body and how to move his parts and uh, realizing that he can jump. He can jump the things. So I was really proud of him this weekend. He had a good cross-country school, so it was really a great education for um, him this weekend. And um, that two-stride always scares horses with the tent right there. But... Overall, he was pretty brave and gave a good little round. Yeah. So here I am with Teddy, a.k.a. Brightwater. This was his first show jump round, and I was very pleased with him. He's a very brave horse. He actually jumps really nicely. Um, he's still working on his changes. He had he does have them, but again, the, he's a little worried about stuff as far as tension-wise goes. So he just has to... Um, get a little bit more relaxed just with what I'm asking him to do. Um, he's very honest when it comes to jumping, which is a very nice feeling to have on a young horse. He has a very good technique and is very nice and quick with the front end. So I was very proud of him this weekend. He jumped all the jumps and stayed in the dressage ring and had a very good cross-country school. 
So it was overall a pretty good ex- learning experience for him. For him, it'll just be about learning how to relax a little bit better coming over his back and then everything will improve. And next we had Indy's uh, novice show jump round. He did quite well. He's still feeling like he's improving here, especially from two weeks ago. Did have a little bit of a steering thing where he thought I was supposed to jump the standard. Um, and he's working on his technique. So you'll see he kind of twisted over that last one. But then when he figures himself out, he really comes through and powers off his hind end. Um, so there's quite a scopey horse in there. It's just a matter of him understanding how to stay straight. Like right there, he jumped that fence pretty nicely. So it's getting a lot better. There was no eyeballs bulging out of his head. He's really starting to understand the concepts of going in and being in the atmosphere and jumping scary things. Um, He handled the tent quite nicely. And so this round I thought was pretty good. Still more homework to do, but it's getting better and better. (laughs) 